All right, let's get back to the story about lab-grown diamonds becoming more and more popular. Here to speak more to this trend and its implications, let's get to Dan Moran, a founder of Concierge Diamonds. All right, Dan, so how much of a, surf, a surge have we seen in man-made diamonds? Well, there's certainly been quite an increase in their popularity over the last few years, and I think that's primarily driven by increased awareness in the marketplace. I think up until recently, uh, most people simply didn't know that they existed. Oh, totally. So some people may not consider lab-grown diamonds to be real diamonds. So why are they considered real if they're not naturally formed? Well, a man-made diamond is chemically virtually identical to a natural diamond. Not quite identical. There are slight differences in the crystal. And uh, man-made diamonds can have, diff have different kinds of flaws in them than you find in natural diamonds. But for all intents and purposes, they are virtually identical in their appearance. So what are some things, some flaws that you said that there may be or some differences between the lab grown and the natural made? Well, the process of making a synthetic diamond uh, introduces certain kinds of impurities into a diamond that you don't find in natural diamonds, notably uh, inclusions of heavy metal elements inside the carbon crystal of the stone. But these are things that you don't see with the naked eye. We're talking about microscopic inclusions that you need specialized equipment to see. So the naked eye... If I showed you one next to the other, you wouldn't know the difference. Oh, man. And, and I know I wouldn't. When we were ring shopping um, with my husband, I had no clue what I was doing. So I, you could put two of them together, and I literally would have no idea. So we know that lab-grown diamonds are cost-effective, right, and more environmentally friendly. For anyone considering buying one of these diamonds, what are some of the risks of buying these stones? Well, there are some downsides. For one thing, the ecological and the economic advantages of man-made diamonds are not as clear-cut as I think the public thinks. Uh, while certainly there are some issues with diamond mining and the, the process of securing natural diamonds, uh, there are also very, very high energy costs for man-made diamonds. And so the, the ecological advantages aren't as clear as I think uh, the marketing machine would make them out to be, but the economic advantages is clear, right? You can save 60, 70% versus a natural diamond if you buy a man-made. The downside to doing that is that unlike natural diamonds, man-made diamonds do not retain value. So whatever you spend on a man-made diamond, it's going to be virtually impossible for you to ever recover any of that money. Whereas natural diamonds have retained value you know, for literally thousands of years, and that's not going anywhere. Makes sense. So do you think that, you know, as these man-made diamonds become more and more popular, what is going to happen to the natural diamond industry? Do you think eventually lab-grown diamonds are going to kind of take over because people see the a tremendous upside in buying them? You know, no, I don't. I think that there's going to be room in the market for both. I think we've already seen the market start to bifurcate, and we have a historical example of this uh, kind of trend in the past when in the last century, uh, synthetic sapphires were introduced to the market for the first time, right? Prior to the 1900s, we couldn't synthesize a sapphire, but then we learned how to do it and to make actually higher quality sapphires than were found in nature synthetically. So when that happened, what happened to the price of natural sapphires? It went up. Why? Because there were some people who were happy to buy the man-made version to save some money. And there were some people who wanted, you know, quote unquote, the real deal, right. who wanted the natural stone. And so there was room in the market for both. And I think we're seeing the same thing uh, with natural versus man-made diamonds. Demand for natural diamonds remains very, very robust. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the last year we've seen the single largest uh, year over year price increase in natural diamonds that I've ever seen in my career. Uh, you know, 25 to 30 percent increase in prices of natural diamonds, right. while at the same time, uh, prices of man-made diamonds have fallen 30 or 40 percent in the same time period. All right. Dan Moran is the founder of Concierge Diamonds. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. We'll be right back.